Getting on the endangered species list works. It saves species, which is good news for all earthlings, especially us, because the more animals that we save, the happier we're going to be. I'm at Fort Fisher in North Carolina, and this mesh here is covering a loggerhead turtle nest. There could be up to 135 ping pong ball sized eggs in there. That's a lot of little turtles. Good news, turtle lovers. Loggerheads are nesting in record numbers on southeast beaches this summer. The loggerhead was put on the endangered species list 42 years ago. They've got a lot of predators on land. When it comes to the nest, the two main ones are wild pigs, hogs, and then, I hate to say it, us. So the mesh is to keep us and the pigs out. Out in the ocean, it's fishing nets. For the past 30 odd years, shrimp trawlers have had these special escape hatches built into their nets. They're called TEDs, TEDs, Turtle Exclusion Devices. Here's a little loggerhead escaping through a TED. Pretty cool, right? And 30 years, that's the magic number. That's how old a female has to be to reach the age where she starts producing eggs. And she only nests every three to four years, but she's no slouch. In a nesting year, she'll dig between three and five nests. And if she lays up to 135 eggs in each, that can total 35 pounds of eggs in all. She comes back to the beach where she was hatched, even if she hasn't been there for 30 years. During a lifespan which can last from 50 to 100 years old, she can keep laying eggs up until she's 80. That is a lot of little baby turtles. But even with all this added help, not all the turtles make it back to the ocean or survive once they do. It's estimated one in a thousand or one in 10,000 turtle hatchlings make it to adulthood. Those are some pretty lousy odds. But they're the odds that turtles have been dealing with for, well, 110 million years. They're an ancient species. They were hanging with the dinosaurs. We've only been here for 200,000 years and we have messed things up for quite a few other species in what's a short amount of time, planetarily speaking. Earth, four and a half billion years old. And us Homo sapiens sapiens, we've only been here for 200,000 years of that. And then in our sophisticated crop planting post nomadic hunter and gatherer form for only 10,000 years. So it feels really good when we can turn things around and share the planet. I mean, look at this nice sharing of the beach. The fact so many turtles are coming ashore to nest means that our conservation efforts are working. And quick review, it's the turtle exclusion devices in the nets. And then on shore, it's teams of dedicated researchers and volunteers who patrol the beaches at night, they find the nests, they cover them with mesh, they mark them off. They also make sure that still determined predators don't get into the nests and at the eggs. These are my favorite low-tech, high-impact solutions that work. So far, more than 12,000 nests have been counted on the beaches of Georgia, North and South Carolina. And the turtles aren't even done. They're gonna be nesting through August. This is already smashing previous records. In 2004, only 400 nests were counted on Georgia's entire 100 mile coastline. This year, they're expecting 4,000 nests. That is a lot of little baby turtles. Loggerheads are big. They can weigh up to 300 pounds. They get their name because of the large size of their heads. They're one of the 12 turtle species that is on the US's endangered species list. There are 444 vertebrates in all, many more invertebrates and plant species. Want to hear more stories about species that are making comebacks? Subscribe to my channel. Like this video, leave a comment, ask a question. Maybe there's an environmental issue you're concerned about and I could cover it for you. Yeah, I could make that dream come true. Until then, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.